Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the last and final round, round seven. Finally. Finally. <laughs> round seven. Lucky number seven. Feels like an ARG, like, regional right now, doesn't it? Does. it? There's just, just... I mean, there's, there's as many people here. Yeah, and it's it's still an just... ARG States event here at PPG in beautiful Miami, Florida. Such a wonderful, wonderful day. And such a wonderful, wonderful event. I'm very excited to be here. Scotch, welcome again. Well, thank you. We have Joaquin on the left playing Broly. Another Broly player. Two Broly players in a row. Yeah, I wanted another Broly. Yeah. <laughs> on the right, we have Soul Shaker Goku, Tim Lee. It's Tim Lee. We have Time Lee up there. It's fine. Okay, we'll fix that real quick. But uh, both these players were at table 10, so the potential for them to top if they win is quite significant. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's almost, uh, it's almost um, guaranteed. Absolutely. Yeah, so. I mean, you're aiming for table 8. Uh, if you're at table 10, the odds of, you know, you being bumped up at that point are, are pretty, pretty, you know, hard to not. Right. You right. know, <laughs> like it's pretty hard not to <laughs> top at that point um, unless you lose. And that's when you get bopped out. But uh, definitely. Well, these players, hey, if, if Broly tops in, <laughs> Broly tops if, in. If Broly tops in, there goes the neighborhood. And I'll tell you what, Broly versus Soulshire Goku, that's a good start for the Broly player because that's a pretty good matchup for him, as it turns out. I mean, he is, I'm gu I'm guessing uh, Broly seems to be a hand destruction type of fella. And uh, Soul Shaker does uh, struggle a little bit against that. I would assume he's also going to uh, run the uh, the baby Broly that evolves into a big Broly. Yeah, it's and uh... that he does. <laughs> I'm not. That's not out of the realm of possibility, Scotch. I won't tell you. Hey, man, we've seen some weird stuff in our time. We'll see if he gets turn one ring. If he does, it's pretty much guaranteed that they always get turn one ring. That's a blue. That's not a ring. It's a blue into a boo. Imagine who? Nope. Imagine who? See what he gets. See if he has a ring. Oh, you know what? He might not, he might have had a ring and just decided not to play it. Obviously, playing uh, ring turn one doesn't do a whole lot for you. You can't attack. True, true. So maybe he decided, you know what? I just want to get this boo, get an extra card, get a little bit of protection in case you want to attack me. Just show us your hand, Joaquin. Joaquin show us please. your hand. I need to know. Up, 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 up. I don't see a ring. He might not have the ring. Dude, his watch is awesome. <laughs> He does have another brilliant hand though, so he's gonna be able to get two extra draws next turn and have a you know a double chance to draw it here. I can't get over the fact that you just ADD would on me. Ooh, shiny! Like, <laughs> his, his watch is sparkly. Look at it; it's beautiful. It's also got some Naruto tattoos. That's the see. That's my weebness yeah. is like, yeah, oh, so you Naruto go for the tattoos, tattoos. I go for the watch. <laughs> I see how you are. Hey, man. There's there's one person that's like he has Goku on his chest. Like, Ooh. Apparently, we're hearing from Lester that he drew uh, he drew those anime tattoos himself, which is I wish I had talent like that. I, w I wish I could even understand how people. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not that like uh, you know I don't get it or like you know art. It's just like I I actually just don't understand. Like, do you know how like when you walk up to your parents sometimes you start talking to them about computers and they're like, what is happening? That's how I feel about all of art. It's okay, Papa Dustal. It's like I do like I see a picture someone draws. I'm like, where do you start? Do you start with the hair? Do you just like... I don't even understand. Well, sir, it all starts with a circle. <laughs> it all starts it with the first with stroke. Circle. It's like, I just don't get it. It all it just looks like the most unbelievable thing to me. Yeah, I mean... So the fact he... What I'm trying to say is the fact he drew his tattoos is absurd, and I think that's amazing. Absolutely. And the fact that he had an artist good enough to capture those images is also a big thing. As somebody who's inked in now. weeb tattoos as well. Yep. Two Double sensi sensi bean. Bean. Ooh, Into another boo. All right, so we're playing mono blue Broly now. Got results. Oh, Joaquin is running results like a champion. I'm excited. To me, that's the best way to to uh, awaken as uh, Joaquin, I mean, as Broly, um, is uh, to have results. You don't have to sacrifice any life. It's much better against Vegeta. I like it. In fact, he's seen three boos in two turns. Also pretty impressive. Three boos, two beans. Looks like one of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see what do we get here? Goku. Draw a card. Now we do see that Tim does have Kel in hand. Can I go ahead and swing it on Broly, untapping the blue energy. Interesting. Let's hope that uh we don't see the same aggro rush that we saw out of the Vegeta in game one oh last round. Oh my gosh, man, that was insane. It's a pretty big blowout pretty quick after that. There it is. Dropping it, liking it, keeping that he since he has the results, he he wants to stay at high life. Also, it's a really good idea to get the, as much use and out of these uh, boos as you can uh, before the kill hits the field. That way, they don't get a bunch of value out of them. Who 
question is, what kind of hand do you got to open up? Like, is he running mono blue? Because we haven't. Oh, I saw Go Tanks, but like he's not running any green. Yeah, we it seems seen like green he's yet. Yeah. he's literally thrown the Goku engine into Broly. Is he's what just, it seems. He's playing mono blue Broly. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he is. <laughs> I don't know what benefit you get out of it, but uh, it's nothing. I mean, at that point, just play Cell <laughs> <laughs> for the extra pops. Alrighty, see what Green does here. I'm, I'm guessing this is where Green will come down. If he goes green into Goku into Boo, I'm just gonna flip the table. <laughs> See what he gets here. Okay, so he had the ring. Broly ring down. But opting to charge it, does he have the second ring? I think he just doesn't want to attack. Uh, he just doesn't want to attack uh, Goku yet. I mean, it's a solid strat, but yeah, like at some it. point you gotta. And it's not like Goku has any way of actually killing the Broly's ring as of yet. Real question is going to be, what kind of... I want to see. I wish we had his list. I want to see his deck now, because it feels like he's playing Goku.Broly, and there's the Goku. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Step one. Initiate the draw. Yeah, I'm, gonna have to get, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lester. I'm about to flip this table if he plays in the, his fourth boo out. <laughs> <laughs> Rage mode initiate, right? Triple boo into a Goku. I kind of wanted him to pull the fourth boo. I'm I not going to lie. It would have been funny. To, I just wanted to flip a table for once in my life. You can't flip this one. This is glass. <laughs> yeah. This would be bad. Is this glass? It's glass. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's just plastic. It'll be funny. Shatters. Shatters. I'm sorry, <laughs> PPG. Can I please come back? No. See, but I'm a, I'm a small child sometimes, so that's how I get cut on glass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sharp stick. Ow. I'll tell you what. This, this three-drop code takes has seen some play today. I'm, this guy's went from like never seeing play to being in every deck. I just like what's happened. People have realized, and you know, it, it went from being a side deck, uh, a side deck tech in Indianapolis to being a mainboard staple now, and I love that. Uh, it's a very solid card. As I said, it's critical without being critical. Yeah, like because it effectively does the job of critical. So they always like to talk about when we talk about discard. Not that it changes anything, but about the card. But uh, the Magic uh, Wizards of the Coast did a survey and asked their, their players, what's the most unfun mechanic in the game? And it was overwhelmingly voted that it was discarding. Yep. Players hate discarding. I concur. Yeah. The only deck banned on my stream is Mecha Frieza Hand Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only deck I've ever said I refuse to play this, this against this deck. Yeah, they just hate it. They just hate people hate discarding. It's like, you know, because I think it's because you have this hand, you're like, ah, it's my hand. I, it's almost like having a little puppy, you know? You're just like, it's mine. I'll nurture it and make it better. And then it's like, okay, you know, discard your puppy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going with this analogy, but it stinks. It feels bad. All right, Joaquin going to six here. Like, the problem with hand destruction is you just feel helpless. And I don't think people like being helpless. You know, like, when you just watch, like, you go from <laughs> six cards down to two cards, and you're like, I remember. Well, I remember how good this hand was three seconds ago before you decided to double Broly me. Yep. Well, I had a good run, boys. Time to scoop it up, go to game two. Like yeah, Mecha, Mecha Freeze hand destruction could be really annoying, too, because you can just be like, you know, play Cell Absorption, discard two, Sensu, discard two. You know, it's just like, but I, you maybe discard four cards. I don't understand. Charges a second ring. Ring. It's a two ring, two bean. Wow. He likes some pairs. To play the third. There's okay. three of a kind. Okay. To play the third Broly's ring. Our opponent can't awaken next turn. Which is important. I mean, our opponent, our Broly can awaken next turn, which is really important. He does have a bunch of trunks in hand, and that results. Three trunks in hand and a results. And it's not that great, but he needs to find a way to pressure this go tanks. Fun little side tidbit for you guys. Broly's ring in Japan actually had the Broly's leader awaken side in the background of Paragus and Broly. Oh, and really? they removed that and put clouding behind it for uh, for our card. Why? Because Bandai. Because no. <laughs> Bandai? I don't know. I thought the other one looked cool, but I guess they didn't want to confuse people. But again, I don't know how having a character in the background would confuse anybody, but it looks different. It looks cool. I don't really have an opinion of it either way, to be honest, but it is what it is. Goku running uh, 
running four cards on his board right now versus the one on Broly's board. So if yeah. if and when that Broly decides to awaken, it's uh it's gonna be a pop fest for a while. Yep, it's gonna have a, a lot of uh little dudes to get through. Again, I think actually Walking has two results in hand. No, it's a trunks. I was about to say, literally, he looks to be playing basically the Goku engine with rings. Is what it looks like to me. Yeah, it seems it seems it seems pretty good. We'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, it's doing good. He's going X two. Going to go to five life here. Has to take this card. Ooh, he's going to wake at him. I think if I'm walking here, I just snap take. I think you have to. You snap take because if you if you use a card to stop it. He's just going to attack with his leader. However, so. he does have a lot of cards in hand now that it would just be dead if he's got a result in hand. It's a, welcome to the blue energy game. Yep. Like, goes down to goes down to four. How many trunks he has? I can't get over how many trunks he has. Okay. That's... And now's where he blows our mind by playing the cell <laughs> chain. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, wait, what? Like, did you know Broly's an android? What? We hit. <laughs> We've learned so much. Well, there's the results. His energy is just pure extra cards right now. <laughs> Not the best hand to open up with. That was clearly a rough start. Triple Boo, double Goku, triple Ring, double Bean, and result. So many trunks, though. Also, something to remember, guys. Uh, is that uh, Tim Lee is a local player uh, here at PPG, which is fantastic, and he's actually sporting the PPG shirt. Something cool that George does here is if you uh, sport a PPG shirt and then you top eight an event wearing the shirt, you get like a little prize. Uh, I forget something we said. I think it was store, store credit. credit. Yeah, I think it was yep. store credit. Is what he said. Uh, that's so neat. That's so cool. I wish my locals did that. I wish my locals had games. Sucks to suck, man. That <laughs> sucks to suck. I wish my locals. <laughs> I wish I had people to play with. <laughs> they just don't care about games. Yep, there's your boy, the yeah. fourth Majin. Who? Unbelievable. I'm gonna, get you to, I'm gonna get you to do it one of these times, I'm Dusty. I need you to humor me and say, a Majin who? A Majin Buscachi. It's literally all you gotta do. I don't yeah, ask for much. Leader so OP. See what Joaquin does here. Looks like he might be attacking the Gotenks here. He didn't really show us, but the fact he's going to 15 here it makes me think he's absolutely going up to uh, Gotenks here. Is this going to be a Gohan? Freehan? Protecting him. Yep. That measly 15 does not go through a 25. <laughs> so many cards on the field right now. Joaquin needs to get like a, a, a Kale or something and start pressuring his opponent here. Kale, Mass Saiyan, any kind of mass board wipe is absolutely needed because he needs to start being able to control his opponent's board. And to do that, he's going to have to wipe it so that when he's swinging in with his awakened side, he's just popping cards, you know? But at this point, it's just like pick, pick, pick. It's not even like detrimental so we see the bulma go away again a 1k uh attacker with a 5k combo power it's just you know discarding a boost attack though Ooh, interested interesting i guess because he's got seven life he just feels like he's probably gonna win the game before he has to yeah that or it's gonna be a while let's have kel in hand that was not good right now but it's very good if uh Joaquin decides to play out uh, some more one drops here. Yeah, I think Joaquin just needs a pass here. And nothing good. Yeah, I think that's a, a misplay by Joaquin. He wants to wait and play those on his turn. That way he can guarantee sack them with Broly. If he doesn't, uh, if doesn't on his turn right now, uh, and then passes, his opponent has the ability to to kill it, uh, which he can easily do um, with 
a kill he has in hand or variety of tools. Not a lick of hand destruction out of this deck, though. Yeah, it looks like we might be a little wrong. He just must clearly find so, like a certain value in Broly that suits his playstyle. Yeah, it looks like now he's going to go into um, Gotenks here and probably use a Trunks out of his hand. I like this. It gets the Trunks out of his hand, lets him draw an extra card here, and puts more pressure on this Gotenks. I think he needs to get this Gotenks off the field. He has another Gohan. Because when you're swinging for the discard, it's detrimental to I, your hand. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have played three of the same card three times. I've seen three Gokus, three, three Boo, or four Boos, three rings. It's just they're seeing all, they're all sticking together. They're all just hugging. Yeah, they're just chilling out. Passing over to Tim Lee. Tim Lee in a pretty good uh, commanding position with this board state right here. He has multiple threats. Again, re one, of my reason, one of the reasons why I think Broly is just not that good of a leader, man. He can't attack those, he can't attack those battle cards. True. So True. It, it, it leads to these kind of weird board states like this where... Look, and it doesn't totally help that Goku can summon 9 million things in one turn. <laughs> Well, of course. Yeah, that's true. I mean, obviously. Like, you can only do so much if you don't have an answer to it, because there's just going to be more and more and more. Sure, you can pick off one at a time, but the next thing that's going to go is going to be the the Boo, and then it's going to be the Goku, and then it's going to be the Gohans, and then it'll be the Gotenks. So it's right. like, you can pretty much tell what, what card is going to kill for the next six turns. Five turns. I don't math so good. That's okay. Close <laughs> enough. I can't believe this, this table is glass. Why is that what you're stuck on I'm right just like, now? I don't know. I just this whole time I thought it was plastic, and I was just like, man, all the things that could have went badly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know, flipping a table near expensive <laughs> computer equipment's not the only thing that can go bad. I said, looking back, poor Lester would be in the in the line of fire from shards of glass. <laughs> shards of glass take out Lester. Nah, <laughs> we rebuild him. We needed him. <laughs> Kappa. Ooh, that's pretty good this turn. Good old Sensu Bean. Notice he placed it straight in the drop area, too, like you're supposed to. I think people get a little too used to uh, people just leaving Sensu Bean on the card it's on. Right. Because I know that was one thing that, uh, that I was doing in Indy that not only did it throw me off a little bit, but it definitely throws off your opponent because... Again, at locals, uh, against your friends, even on Octagon, I do it. It's you get so used to keeping the bean on the card for your own memory's sake, right? That it also your opponent's doing it. So you're like, well, if I just toss this here, what are the odds they're gonna forget? And yeah. unfortunately, a lot. Yeah, yeah like it, it happens happen. a lot. Looks like what I think Tim's doing here. He took a read of Ring. So I think what he's wanting to do is try to... Yeah, there it goes. Try to find a way to get, to get rid of this Goku. Find a way to get rid of this Goku. And now you put uh, Joaquin in a situation where if he attacks with his leader, he has to kill his own Ring. Go tank, swing it in, but not for the discard. Nope, just 25k double strike into four life. No threat of repercussion because Broly can't attack into him. Yeah, and honestly, like, we're not seeing any any bombs come out. We're not seeing any real threats come out from Joaquin. He's just kind of sustaining himself. He's not even, like, even his defensive plays aren't just, you know, super relevant, to be honest. Whereas, like, a defensive play with a Gohan, you now have a Gohan on the board that is not only going to protect you and be a potential attack next turn, but it's also a popping target for, for Broly. So it's like, he's just kind of holding himself. 
Absolutely. We're not seeing those like Broly chain like we thought we'd see or some you know something that comes out and puts a little pressure on his opponent. It's just I'd be willing to say he's gone through at least half of his deck and we have yet to see a single Broly. Can you go ahead and pass turn now? There's good. That's the trunks. That's what he needed. Trunks. That's really good. He can pick up, try to you know put pressure on the Gotenks with the trunks and then attack with Broly, kill the trunks, kill something. It's actually a pretty good card right now. Also gets to look at the top two, maybe find something get get this going. He's taking his time. Trying to figure out what he wants to do here. A lot of options. A little bit of writing on this match, too. If you lose, you're not going right. to top. If you That's do, true. if you win, it's a very, very, very good likelihood that, that you will. That is very true. On top of that, they're on stream. Yep. So you got that little bit of added stress. Yeah, a little bit of stress. A little bit of nerves. And there's the board wipe. Ooh, I did not see that draw. I mean, I feel like you hit Goku and... I mean, you can only really... Four or five. I don't know. I think I go for, like... I think I go for a Goku and Gohan? a Gohan. Yeah. Seems okay. Kill the, the Gotenks. Are... Nah, we're both ignoring the Gotenks. I think you don't kill the Gotenks. I don't think you can win if you kill the Gotenks. The three drop. I understand. I'm just saying, I don't think you can win if you kill the Gotenks. The three drop. I think you have to try to get as much value out of this turn as you can. So you go three, two, and then attack the uh, Mass Saiyan into the Gotenks. And then force your opponent to have to play a Boo and something else to protect it. Huh. You know what I mean? I think you just have to make your opponent get as much value as you can. Now the the safe the safe play is to kill the Gotenks and, and like a the Goku, but I, I think he, right now he's so far behind he has to find a way to get a little bit ahead, get a little bit of advantage. And I think the way you do that is to go for the Mass Saiyan here. I mean go with the uh a Gohan and a Goku. It's tough man, tough decision. He does have to tap an energy for it, though. Play it for free. Let's go to the deck. Let's go to warp. Not the discard pile. All right, so Joaquin does have to tap an energy for it, right? Joaquin has yet to tap an energy for it. And Eric yeah, did put those cards in warp, so there we go. Cards in warp came into play. Still hasn't paid cost for the card that came out, though. Yeah, still has not done that. I'm sure he'll get to it here in just a second. Mass Saiyan does carry a cost of uh, one yeah. colorless energy and then... Uh, banishing your your entire graveyard. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and send send Lester over there to try and uh, be sure that that energy does get paid. Right. I mean, it is. It's the only overall card that does it though, too. It's the only overall card currently in play. I mean, there's there there's are a lot coming to do. <laughs> set three. There's a couple. Uh, but and currently, it's the only overall card that actually has a cost tied to it. It costs something. So what do you think, green or blue? Blue. Well, yeah, blue. There's the blue. All taken care of. Jeez, could you imagine? Too free. It's too free at that point. I think it should be a two drop at least. You think it should cost two to do it? I think it should cost two. It's, it's too good. It's powerful, for sure. I mean, maybe two is... I don't know. I, th I think you'll probably still see play at two. I think you might have to make it a 25k, though. 23k. 23... What are these lawyer numbers? What are numbers. these banker numbers that you throw at me? Point of three, it's like price hey, is right. Hey man, uh, Jocko, Jocko and the other combos all have 16k. That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's so weird. Might as well throw random numbers in. All right, yeah, I liked it. What well, is, is is making use out of these trunks in his hand. He's trying to use them to get the board control back because once he does, he can start getting some, some use out of his uh, Broly and get this game where he wants it to be. This is how he can take it back. He's been down the entire match. That's what I'm saying. Shoo. 
goes up to uh, 35k into this uh, Gotenks here. Double strike means it kills him twice. <laughs> that double KO. Oh, Dusty. I thought double strike meant you could attack twice. <laughs> nice. If you're walking, that's okay. I mean, that's not the most ideal situation. Obviously, you'd rather have the Gotinks out of there, but he gets one of these cards out of here. That's good. You don't mind that. So got rid of three total off of that play in general. Yeah, so so far he's got three cards out of it. Yeah, it's, that's going to, I mean, has a potential game back in this game. He's also going to be able to kill this Mass Sand as well, which takes up the two cards. Drop. Let's see what he decides to do here. Yep, there's a sack on that. So, so, so cool. Looks like Tim discarding another Piccolo. Interesting. Not playing like a Broly deck at all. Not at like, all. Like, it's, it's, it's a little kind of, it's, it's a little honestly kind of putting me off. Yeah, I'm it's just, a little off-putting for sure. It's confusing. Because you sit down and you see Broly Leader, like, all right, here comes Hand Destruction. Yeah, here comes some dis discard, and we're going to see some Broly Chains, and we're going to see, you know, some Bio Armies, and... Oh, that's not what we do in this situation. Reminder, this is only game one, too. No, I think he's about to play out this Gotenks, and I'm, I feel like that's not the right play here. But, my boy. Here he comes. My baby boy. Finally, some hand destruction. <laughs> <laughs> we, feel him, we feel a little ballsy? Are we going to swing into that Gotenks? Are we going to swing into the Gotenks oh, and the Gotenks? Pump up to, you know, 60k? Little baby Gotenks going into Super Saiyan Gotenks? Yeah. Get some... Gets a, gets a, I say, KO's him. <laughs> Double KO. Double KO. Discard him into the drop area. <laughs> you don't discard into the <laughs> drop area, Dusty. They get placed in the drop area. Nope. That's not what Good Thing says. Good Thing says, discard a card. Can I help you? That's Can the first can I help you of the stream, by the way. That's true. He decided to play out his Good Thing's here. Choose not to attack with it. I don't like this play. Soul Striker, as it turns out, has a lot of ways to KO cards. Which we knew. Yeah. Another tank's coming out. As I like to call them, super tanks. Super it's just that Goku's so consistent. When everybody's asking me what I thought was going to top this event, what I think is going to top mm -hmm. Charlotte, I'm like, Goku. Oh, it's yeah? just too good right now. Now, how it holds up next set is going to be the real question, but as right. of right now, Goku's kind of dominant. I mean, that's the thing that you have to understand about Soul Shaker is that he has a couple weak matchups, does a couple things, you know, has a couple weak uh, turns or whatever, sure. But he always has the ability to win every matchup, I feel like. You know, you don't ever go into a matchup where you're just like, I lose. It's like you always have the ability to win. Which is something that you can't say about every single deck. So it's pretty cool to have that ability when you go into these big tournaments. Instant recovery, that's why. Yeah. Even against Cell. Cell's a rough matchup for anybody, but, you know, lose your hand. Next turn, I'm going to have it all back again. Yeah, my hand's back. Here, let me just drop these three boos I kept. <laughs> then let me awaken. Draw two. Swing in. Draw a card. Drop another boo. Drop a Goku. Now all of a sudden, you got a full board, and you're back at five cards in it. And you're just like, okay. Me too. That sounds fun. By the way, speaking of Awaken, Tim's still not Awaken. <laughs> Tim's still at five. I guess, I guess pitching those Piccolos weren't the worst thing. Actually, I think that might be a booby pitch last turn. Question is, where's results? No results. Can't tell. 
That's I don't think that leaning into it is gonna work because it's sure. a flat That's screen. That's true. I, I, did try, I did try to look around it. You're right. <laughs> what you guys didn't see is Dusty sitting here trying to look around to see the guy's hand and. Yep. Doesn't work. Two D monitor, man. I understand. <laughs> Joaquin going out of two. Going out of two, man. That's pretty scary. Against Soul Striker. Are two cards he's thinking about playing down. Okay, there's well, Cal. there's a there's a bomb, but uh, that's a combo. So, yeah, army. Some good information here to know. He runs Kale. Yeah, Kale's a good card. Kale a little counterproductive in Broly sometimes, though. And here comes careful. your boy to try and fight my boy. Your boy's going to kill my boy, though. Yeah. I don't like that. That's not very nice of you. That's what he does is instantly. <sighs> All right, Beerus, come in, my friend. Destroy, guys. Get ready for these destroy. Spam in the chat. Get ready. Here it comes. I predict the Hakai emotes. No, I think it's okay. I think he has plenty of cards in the chat here to stop it. He does. Oh, Tim Lee, you let me down. You let Beerus down. That's worse. <laughs> no, no, no. Kill it with the go. Go with the go. Thanks. Just do it. <laughs> Give me this one thing. <laughs> I need this in my life. I need to watch a go tanks kill a Beerus. That's possible, man. I think it is. I I'm think it is. Lot, no, For all the reasons hand. that you sat there and had him being spanked, and all the bad talk you've done about go tanks, he deserves this. Mass Sand's about to come down. Another one? I think so. The mm, question is how many cards he has in his drop area now. He should have enough. Between that last combo and the previous play. Joaquin looks like he's about ready to windmill slam this mass saying out. Ooh. See. Okay. Hello, results of training. That's completely useless to me right now. Two beans. <laughs> His energy's killing me. It's two beans, two rings, two results of trainings. Rhyming! Rhyming. <laughs> hey, what does he decide to kill here? We did it, guys. We rhymed. I mean, you killed the go tanks. Double strike, bigger power. Okay, so you go kill the double strike. Do you attack, attack the mass saying into the beers? Try to kill it? Yeah. Yeah. And then that will be the closest to a wiped board that Tim will have been in this entire game. Uh, what's this going to be? Go on. Wait, what did he choose with the Mass Sand? He didn't. Uh, he didn't choose a target. Go on, take out Beerus. I'm about to be upset. I mean, in theory, does Mass Sand say up to? Five? Yeah, it says up to five, so I guess him saying nothing is a thing. There was no bloodlust. There was no bloodlust. So, yeah. We also can't We also can't hear the player, so it's possible that they, he said kill go tanks. Well, the go tanks was dead regardless of the so fact. So what's the go on killing? That's, therein lies the question, because it looks like that go tanks went to the drop area, not the warp. So, yeah, well, there you go, I guess. We could have gotten rid of the Gohan, too, while we were at it. No, we couldn't have. Yes, we could have. Yes, we could have. Okay. Because you pop the Gohan, swing into the the, the Beerus, but. Okay. 
Chat's saying he had two go tanks. So he killed one of the go tanks. Oh, yeah, two go tanks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Clear the board. We Pretty did impressive. it. Pretty impressive, actually. I mean, it's Goku without the Goku leader. <laughs> yeah, true. Not as consistent. So, strike a Broly. Legendary Broly striker? <laughs> L LBS. All right. Finally, we get to see Tim awaken. Gate, another go tanks, and something. Oh, it's a uh, Light of Hope Trunks. Light of Hope Trunks, pretty devastating. Pretty good. Pretty good dude. I like swinging it for Nat 25k. How about you? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> then you swing it with the trunks, you drop the Frieza, bounce the trunks back to your hand, play it again next turn. Yep. 25k is that magic number I always talk about, too, where your opponent has to use Super Combo. It's a uh, super combo in a card. I can't call it that. I can't do it. I can't. Super, super combo. combo just, I can't. The perfect cards. Band God. No? Just me? Okay, cool. Great talk. Great talk. Tim Lee has a I just don't have a devastating turn here. I'm starting to get the feeling we're only going to get one game. We're only going to get one game, I believe. Yeah, this is pretty Looking a little rough here. This is a pretty grindy matchup, which we expected, but I expected it to be accelerated a little bit by uh, the hand destruction from Broly. We're just not really getting that. Nope. Look, okay. dude has to find a way here, Scotch, to stay alive here. Triple Striker, holy crap. Well, he's got power in his deck. He's just not getting it. Using apparently. it. Yeah, that Triple Striker might have been a poor choice. Potential game changer with that card, too. I remember Danny Hype saying that he refuses to lose to that card, and then I bopped him with it, and he just got really upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, then again, I also did the bad play where I put Sensu Beans on all three of my bundle of curiosities and then swung it with Triple Strike. <laughs> right, right. No, I think one of the things you have to do, um, it right here is, is, is as uh, Joaquin is you have to take this hit. If he has Champa, he has Champa. Not much you can do, but I think you have to take this hit, get two cards in your hand, maybe try to dig for that uh, that that triple striker, see if you can get lucky. Going down to one. Now we in the real Scotch territory. One, here it comes. Discard a card out of your hand. Oh, there's that light of hope. Rip the dream of hitting 25k net, you know. Getting rid of a Gohan. Using Jocko. Woo, Chaco. What are you bouncing? Doesn't matter. You're dead either way. Scoop. Phase initiated. Going into game two. Going into game two. Soul Striker up one game. I tell ya. Soul Striker. Not messing around that game. Not at all. And literally, like I said, Legendary Broly Striker is, is, a, is a thing, apparently. Yeah, legendary Broly Striker just coming in. Taking names. It's like, you about and to have a bad time, fam. Playing a bunch of booze. Playing a bunch of Gokus. Playing a bunch of Sensu Beans. I'm playing a lot of threats, though. Something he's going to have to change here. Not even getting to play a lot of Sense of Beans. All those were in energy. Yeah. That was the worst part. But 
I really want to know is, what do you side? I guess you treat this like the mirror, to be honest. What was that? I, I, what do you side? Like, I assume you would just... As a Broly player? Yeah. Well, I think as a Broly player, you got to sideboard, sideboard in some hand destruction. I don't know. I, obviously, we don't have his, uh, his oh list in front of us, but... Do we get to see a full hand board? I think that's what you have to do. I mean, that, that has to almost be your um, your plan against um, Soul Striker is to get some hand destruction in. Yeah, I mean, get some hand destruction in, strip some cards from their hand. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of people's plans against them. You know what I mean? Oh. I like it. It's just rough. I think a Soul Shaker, I think you just have to put in some value cards. Put in, you know, Vegeta Prince of Speed, put in Android 17, and you just, uh, just, just prepare for the worst. Prepare for hand destruction. The question is whether or not Tim would see that coming. Because it's the same kind of situation like last round where we were expecting the, uh, or not last round, the round before when we were expecting the right. Cell Engine to come in. If you're not expecting it, because like, literally that was pretty much a Goku mirror with just a Broly leader. So if you turn around and side in hand destruction, how like how far can you scry that? Like, you mean like if if you sideboard in hate for hand destruction, that's what you're talking about? Yeah, like who's gonna do that? Uh, maybe Lester would because he could see the future, but right, right. The rest of us ain't gonna be able to do that. Like I would not at that point. I'm not gonna lie. I would probably be like, he's probably gonna put in hand destruction, but you know what? He might not. He might not. He might not. It's possibly doesn't. So. Coming from a, a professional player standpoint, you got to kind of think of it like that. You're like, what if he doesn't? And I cited all this hate, and this hate's just dead. Well, I don't think those cards are dead. I think you know, Vegeta Prince of Speed's still a good card. It still draws you two. It's a, especially in the mirror match type thing, it's a good card to play out. I mean, if you play out Prince of Speed, you draw two. It's a good target to sack with Broly because you got value out of it. You get attack with it. You get two cards out of it, so you're not down a card. So I don't think Prince of Speed's necessarily a bad card in, in the matchup. I don't think that the seven uh seventeen is a bad card either. Being able to draw back up four cards is really good against Broly or in the Go Tinks too. So I don't think those are necessarily like bad cards. Like I think one of the cards you would cyborg in for a uh, hand destruction is like TN, right? So that way you can awaken early. Uh, as Soul Strike, you can awaken on turn three. Um I think that's bad against Broly, right? That's a bad bad call. But I think just, you know, cyborg in some cards and help you get more cards in hand, I don't think is a necessarily bad idea. The question's really going to be... I, I can't justify TN. <laughs> I just can't. I hate TN. Um, it's like, you got the results, but you didn't see the results. So, how quickly you can awaken is really what makes Burly the detrimental factor. So if you're just going to sit there and be like, oh, they're not going to awaken me, but I have no way to awaken. We're just going to sit here and have a game like last game where it's just going to go for yep. the next 30-40 yep. minutes. Yep. I think, uh, you know, if I'm walking right now, Honestly, I hate to be this this guy, I guess. But his dreams of making top 16 probably probably dashed. Right? It's probably very unlikely he wins two more games, right? In the time that we have. I don't even... I was, I've was i been checking my clock. I can't remember when the round actually started. I, I think can. we're probably a, a good 30, 40 minutes yeah. into this round. Yeah, so I think Joaquin probably is in a situation where... You know, he doesn't have to win this game fast. And this is where he sides in the red engine. Yeah, he he takes out the blue and sides in red and we just go rush. Exactly. Drop triple combo turn one. I know what I would do if that happened. I'd be like, yeah, you got it, dude. <laughs> how, how how would you go about dropping triple combo turn one with Broly Leader? Uh, call, it's called Pan Leader. Is it, oh, <laughs> he just sideboards in the Pan Leader. It's called Pan. <laughs> Imagine if a, we had that option. Yeah. Sighting in leaders. Oh, oh, my God. That would break this entire game. Ooh. Tim did scry that. Sure. Tim sided for hand destruction. He put Android 17 in. I told you. I don't know, though. That's what you have to do. What if it's all a mind game? It's not a mind game, Scotch, because what if it the is? card's still good. But what if, Dusty? What if he wants you to think, and by in doing so, you've just sided out your consistency and hurt your deck? I think so. Ah, probably not. But you know what? We can dream. I'm not feeling it. There's Prince of Speed! Oh, did Dusty just know exactly what the sideboard in it gets, Broly? I think so. Eh. Pin drop. Did you really just pen drop? That was a pin drop. That's what the sound you guys heard was. Pin drop. You do know the phrase is pin, right? I said pin drop. You said pen, and then dropped a pen. Pin drop. It's pin. Like, I'm going to pin this on your shirt. It's so quiet, you can hear a pin drop. It's not pen. No, I'm talking about, I have a pen in my hand that I write with. Yeah, I'm I know, dropping but, it. but pin drop. Can I help you? Okay. <laughs>
There's no. I can't. This is the wolf thing all over again. <laughs> I don't understand. It's like a, it's a literal exp- It's it's a literal statement. No, mic drop is the statement. You're saying pin drop, and then changing it halfway through saying pin drop, which is so quiet a pin could drop, and then you pen drop to drop the pen. I don't get it. I don't either. That's why I'm confused. I need an adult. Lester, help. Joaquin put it down that... Joaquin put it down that... Uh, that Jocko. Bulma is uh, his own. In some of this green energy. We in the mirror match just ignore the leaders. This is, yeah, this must be the mirror match. I don't know. I don't think Jocko is what I would keep in, though, if I'm playing against a mirror match. Not really that great in the mirror match. How I'm many not seeing players? any hand distraction. How many uh, Broly players... Uh, what, color, what color is the pen? It's black? How many Broly players? Uh, there were cool several. Fan, fan. Yeah, there was a, several. Two of them almost made it in top, top 16. Why do you say almost? We don't know that this match is over yet. I mean, you're right. I'm just saying, you know, from a, an analytical standpoint, I don't I mean, I, I don't think Joaquin can win. I mean, I think he can win. I have no doubt that he's a, a player that can win. I'm just saying I don't think he can, like, play out two more games in the time limit. Now, if they potentially draw, neither of them might top. <laughs> 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 right. If they go to that point, because right now currently Tim is up one game. If they if they go into time, you know, Tim just wins. If they go into time right mm. as Joaquin wins, welcome to draws. Tim gets that result off that Goku. Draw city. Draw draw city. Decides to do here. Thousand. I like these like pressures Broly. He's put so many cards in Broly's hand. I like his strategy against Broly. Rush, 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 rush. I feel like you can just rush this Broly deck. Probably, but I think if I'm walking, I actually think I'll start taking these hits. Start trying to build hand advantage? Yeah, and just keep these one drops out. That way when you awaken you're you're stronger. You have more sacrifice targets. True. I think delaying these hits aren't doing a whole lot for you. We won round one. Tim did. Yep, game one with the Tim. If you look in the center top of the screen, you'll see the number one and then the number zero, and it tells you what round it is. So that's our indicator for us, too. Yeah. Because I've got the memory of a goldfish sometimes, which turns out I actually know where, pretty significant. I don't, know, I don't even know where I'm at half the time, to be honest with you. You're going to step outside and think it's 20, aren't you? <laughs> I, I'll tell We're you, just no go. the funny thing about that was when I walked outside, I actually almost put my jacket on. I'm just Jeez. so used to doing that, and I was like, wait a second. This isn't West Virginia. That would be death. It's like all the PPG guys wearing their hoodies right now. I'm like, how? Unbelievable. No way. Doesn't make any sense. Just get a t-shirt. Go over and grab a t-shirt. Here we go. Joaquin doing a good job building the board back up. Has a boo. I think he's still kind of digging for that result. Has another boo in hand. Get no Broly chain, though. Again, what is with people charging double sensu bean? I don't get it. That scares me. That scares As somebody me who's always got three in his hand, I would, like, I charge maybe one. Never two. I don't care what the rest of my hand is. Definitely scary. Cards just too good defensively. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, really good defensively, very good offensively. Go tanks. Imagine, imagine who? Imagine who? Who and what is at top tables? No. Uh, Androids and Cell, I think, were undefeated. Were the two undefeated decks? Um, and then I think Marcel is playing Goku, Soul Striker Goku. He was, I think, he only has one loss. Um. Eddie was playing Vegeta, only has one loss. Orlando winner George lost uh, last what round. What did you just say to me? Hmm? Orlando winner George lost last round. Orlando win. What'd you think I said? I, I thought it was some, I thought you were saying someone's name. I thought, <laughs> I thought his name was like Mr. Orlando or something. I was like, that's my name. You're right. My name is Mr. Shatow. Yeah, I mean, 
Guys, I have to go. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Appreciate it. Welcome to the Scotchy stream, guys, where it's only me, 24-7. And we lost all of our viewers. Rip. <laughs> Had a good run. Okay, got a good run. <laughs> Again, guys, just building the board out. Players taking their time, making sure they make the right plays. They don't want to sit here and, you know, make a, a fatal mistake. Especially Tim is in a situation where he doesn't want to make a, a bad play and then, you know, get out of the situation. Uh, right now, he's pretty much a shoe in right now to get into top. He says, play this this match correctly. Never count your chickens. Never count you know, like. You never count your chickens before they hatch. Is that what you're? No, no, just don't count them. Chickens are mean. Just don't count them at all. That's the saying. Just, just leave them be. Just don't count your chickens. Chickens are scary, man. It's kind of like cats sometimes. You never know what they're thinking. Like I hate a, cats. a dog, if you pet a dog, you look at a dog, a dog, you know the dog loves you. You pet a cat, and then they bite you, and you're like, I don't know if you like me. Yeah. And that's how you end up with Fred. That's how you. <laughs> that's how you get ants. And that's how you get ants. Oh, Fred. Frank. Let's see what's going to happen here. Going to play three. Let's go, Tanks. There he is. A little pressure. This is what uh, Joaquin needs to do. He needs to put pressure on the opposing leader. If he puts pressure on the opposing leader, he can he can uh, situate it up where he can maybe get this game. Potentially, but the question is how quickly he can do it. That's true. That's the thing is that he does, you know, uh, that's what I'm really worried about. I think Joaquin needs to try to play a little bit quicker, play a little bit more efficient. And put a lot of pressure on his opponent's uh, uh, board and leader in order to be able to uh, maybe get this to a game three. It's I'll tell you something happened quick. to me in Richmond. I'm gonna talk talk to you about this. But I always think this is funny. Is am I gonna laugh? I mean, no. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not. Ooh, is it three minutes. Three minutes left in the round. Oh, yeah. Not looking good. Tell uh, me this funny story. Yeah. So funny. I mean, it's not really funny. Ha ha. It's just funny, like ironic or whatever. Well, then how's it funny if it's... If it's well, it's just a different kind of funny. It's different definitions of this. I mean, it's so, kind of funny? It's, it's like, like I said, it's like funny, like interesting. So like... Okay. Which doesn't make, I guess, any sense. But so... You said it, not me. <laughs> what is... What I don't understand uh -huh. is in Richmond, I was playing. Okay. I was playing against Soul Shaker. Okay. And... Uh, is this your time story? Yeah. It's, yeah, I went to, we went to time. So I was playing against Soul Shaker player and I won game one. We're in game two. And we were going into time, and I was pretty sure I was going to lose. Uh huh. And I was like, "Crap! I can't afford a third draw." Yeah. Right. Like I'm. Because you're not Jordan Markle. Right. I'm. I, if I get a third draw, I'm screwed. Uh. And so I was like, "Okay. Well, let's try to win, boys." And I just kind of went for it. Right. Mm -hmm. I was like, "I was like, I need to get a sensu bean. I need to make sure I, I be more aggressive with my uh my Goku, my my two drop Goku, and I'm gonna try to go for it here." And I did, and I won on that turn. And I was just like, "I wonder how many turns." You the, wasted. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how many turns of the game do we lose where we could win? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I've seen you play, Dusty. Sometimes you don't make the aggressive push. <laughs> I I'm mean, looking in your hand, and I'm like, this man had game four turns ago. But you know what? He's too scared to try it because his opponent, God forbid, your opponent has four cards in hand, and you have eight. And you're just I'm like, saying, I understand eh. that. But I must be like, I feel like one of these days, this, like, savant is going to come out of, like, What's Michigan. Savant? Isn't that like a... Is a savant like a – yeah, it's like a, a gifted person, right? Yeah. Okay. It's going gonna, gonna to come out of like like it's gonna Michigan be like 12. or something. Yeah, it's gonna and he's just going to be like, I always know when I can do game. And he's just going to kind of like float in because he, he can levitate too. Oh, okay. And then he's going to be like, Whirl, and he's just going to – So he's in Yada. Game, he's going to be able to game people. So he's in Yada. I mean, sure. Except he doesn't right? have like right? – He's in he Yada, yeah. He doesn't have the flying – Overwatch right. reference. No, really. Please don't sue us, Blizzard. And then, so, like, <laughs> I, I just, I can just see these kids, you know, that are really good with math or just, you know, start understanding. It starts clicking and they're like, oh, you're dead. Watch this. A prime example is there's a kid in Yu-Gi-Oh named Faisal who has been playing the game since he was little. And now he's a YCS champion. And he's only, like, what, 19? Something like that? Like, sure. The kid, I knew him when he was, like, 15 playing the game. And he was just stomping people at locals. Imagine getting beat by a 15-year-old. How are you going to feel? I don't know, man. Uh, it's, it's gonna hurt a, my ego. It, there's a lot of factors. Is he floating? Does he have balls flying around him? Can he heal me? You know, Does he a lot speak of things. in a very weird tone? <laughs> Is he a robot? A I don't know. A lot of it. Into the <laughs> a lot of it depends on these factors. I think that yeah, there's gonna be a kid. I actually like getting wrecked by, by little kids. 
Man, like, that sounds bad. I'm sorry. Phrasing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Phrasing. Now, what I meant to say was like how I meant to how I meant it was like I I like when kids. There's come no in, way of saying this. I, yeah, there is. <laughs> like I I like whenever kids come in and do well in events because okay. it means that the future of our game is strong. Like they're picking up the game, they're getting it, they're getting excited. I feel like when whenever younger kids come in and they they play and they lose. I mean, most kids honestly don't care when they lose. They just love coming and playing Goku and 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 and, and just beating. like when a kid falls down, they just bounce right up. Right, exactly. It doesn't bother. Right. It doesn't bother them, right? You know what I mean? But like some of them, I feel like they get almost demoralized, and it makes me so sad because I don't want them to stop playing. I want them to do really well. All right. So the question here is, who's turn player? Time was just called in the round now. Um, it looks like Tim is turn player, so Tim will be turn zero. Turn around. Every I'm now and then I get to... a little bit closer to try and be Broly. So, okay, question for you. Answer for you. Well, I'm like, uh, never Purple. mind. Never mind. What? I'm not going to ask it. Why? Huh? Ask it. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I'm just not going to. I'm not going to say it, because it's, it's, it, it's mean. It's oh, not, are you going to take a dig at me? No, 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 no. It's not, it's not even mean. It's uh -huh. just like, I just had a, a, like, I have, like, a question what you would do in a situation, but I don't want to ask it because... Because I'm a bad player? Is that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. No, it's, it's, not no, a, it's, 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 it's not a gameplay question. It's like a moral question. Well, no, go ahead. Let's hear it. I feel like this is terrible. I feel like I'm going to ask this and it's going to turn out bad for Joaquin. Huh. And I don't want to. But, like, if you're in Joaquin's situation, I've always wondered this. Like, do you do you go for the draw to knock Tim out? Or do you just let Tim win? No, you push. You push. You be ballsy about it. Like, it's one of those things. It. it I'm saying if you beat at any Tim... point, if it's your friend and you do it, it's considered collusion. So it's kind of like okay. you got to sit back and, uh, hey man, you know what I'm trying to say there comes a like point. You're allowed it's to concede at any point. So like if you're if you're if you're walking now, you just you just go okay, like you know, hey man, we had a good we had a good one game because we can't play two games because this format, you know, is set up this way. And I mean, we get let's certain be fair, it was an hour for match for. Well, for I'm not one. saying every deck's like that. I'm saying certain matchups, like you get control deck versus control deck, you're not going to play. Three games is not going to happen. I mean, it's well, how's happen. it work in Magic? Well, in Magic, it's a lot different. That's the thing. Uh, in Magic, I'd say the reason why uh, games end in Magic uh, very quickly are a couple reasons. Number one, you have dead draws completely. So you have, like, certain games where you just don't even get to play, right? And so, like, you'll draw and not get a land. And you'll be like, pass. Or sometimes in Magic, you have to mulligan to five cards in hand or something. You and then I mean? you go down, right? Like, in Magic, right. when you yeah, mulligan, you lose you go, a card? You lose a card, right? But you can mulligan an unlimited amount of times, uh, down to obviously zero. Okay. Yeah, and so... So apparently they have a time extension, guys. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because they're on stream. Um, but yeah, so like that's a, that's an important thing to match. So, like it's a little bit diff it's a little bit different magic. Um, I don't think I've ever. I mean, me personally, I've never played a game of magic and went to time ever. Um, so it's it's a little bit different. Like but, control uh, two control decks and magic playing each other. How long does that match? Which it, well, I would say you might be able to use uh, most of the time, but I would say probably forty five minutes at the most. Um, and those are considered like long games of magic, you know. But the big thing of magic is it's a lot different because in magic you have like life total. And that life total can't be protected like your life total in here. I mean, you can pitch cards out of your hand and survive in uh, in this game, but you, you can't do that in, in in magic, right? Like there's mm -hmm. there's there's certain cards that can't be blocked or can't be stopped, and you know what I mean there's just like and you only have twenty life, and some of these cards have plus the finishers in this in, in magic are just absurd. You know, I'll play this out, kill all your dudes. This guy's indestructible. You can't do anything about it. Ha ha! You lose. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. You know, which we're starting to get those in set three, which I actually like. We're getting like these seven, eight drop guys that are coming into play, and you're like, "Holy crap!" It's almost like if, like, if, like, if Weiss cost eight, like, how much better would Beerus be? You know what I mean? That's like almost how like Magic gets, right? Like if that makes sense. They just stall until they get eight energy, and then it's like, yeah, but ramp is a it. serious thing in Magic. Like you can ramp, right, can't right, you? Like, right. is yeah, it green yeah. that ramps in Magic? Yeah, green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are that's, not saying that one. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's uh, you know, Lester saying that they cheat him out turn one. That's true. It's like I have this twelve drop, play him turn two. Okay, so they still have five minutes left in their round. Uh, so the potential is there. Hey, if he can pull this W out, they could potentially make it so that they don't go to like honestly. And I know, I think I can't remember who did this. Um, if I'm in this situation, and my only option, if I know. The potential to draw is there, I, and I won game one, scoop. I'd scoop. Let's go to game three. Start game three. That way, the draw is not happening. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So you're saying you're in Tim's situation right now, you would just scoop. Probably, yeah. Because this is going to go on, and there's going to be no defined winner unless, you know, all of a sudden, Joaquin does some crazy stuff. 
And if Joaquin does some crazy stuff and just like you can't you can't do anything to him and you're at a standstill and you know you're gonna stay at a stand a standstill, and it could potentially go in well, favor actually, of Joaquin somehow, then I, okay. I, well, actually, I know what you're I know what you're saying. It's actually happened to me in Peter's game and and uh, the top cut. Yeah, you guys were just you knew yeah, you were going in into game time. one. I knew I lost. I knew there's nothing I could do, and I was like, I scoop. Like I know I'm gonna lose. I, I, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna try to play three games. You know what I mean? I, I understand what you're saying, but I think Tim is in such a lead right now that I feel like. It's a little, I mean, cause he, I feel like he's actually winning right now, which I, there's no way I was winning that game. Yeah, yeah. So well, again, there's be. a difference. Like, it, it, again, comes down to personal preference. I personally am never going to scoop. I never scoop. I will go all the way to the end no matter what I scoop what all the time. I'm like, I'll make the scoop master. I scoop all the time. I'm like, I can't win. Let's go. But again, my game one doesn't go 40 minutes. I know. So, like, my, even my, in the mirror. My games, I mean, I'm not going to lie. My games go really long, though. I don't, I don't go to time in the mirror. Right. Absolutely. I mean, I agree. I mean, that's the fun thing about this game, though. And I think that's something. That's the, that's the only thing I think that that I think it was a really fun question was like, what do we do? You know what I mean? If you're if if you're Joaquin right now, do you go for the win, knowing that if you win, you knock you you knock both of you knock you both out of the top cut? It's a lose lose situation right now for Joaquin. Well, for, so, yeah, you absolutely. Go in. You think you just go in? You're just, you like, just going. If I'm going down, Yolo. you're coming with me. Three sixty Yolo swag. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna you know let me <laughs> let me get some meme lord on this because we going in. On this one right now. This is the one, like, when Eddie looks at me and goes, do I go in, Scotch? We're on Octagon. I'm like, absolutely go in. Go in. Let's see what you got. See, man, I don't know why. I just can't do that, man. Someone tells me, like, does it go in? I'm like, I have 15 cards. He has one. I don't know. I can lose. I'm not doing it. And that's why <laughs> I, know I so tell bad. you, you had game four turns ago. Know, and you're just, just like, saying, man. I can't do it. I'm like, no. He'll he'll get a Piccolo into a Piccolo into a Piccolo into a Jocko. And I lose. Not doing it. <laughs> Man. Don't care, Scotch. You have 15. <laughs> what is he going to do? Sure, I'm going to Piccolo into a Piccolo into a Jocko. Guess what? You still have 13 cards over him. <laughs> nope. I don't like that choice. I don't see. I I, 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 like, this, I like this Shadow Broly up here, though. You know, he kind of he has the nice shadow sleeves. You're not really kind of supposed to use those. He comes in from the shadows. You're not really supposed you to use those. You can't though. use those, really? No, because it's super cloudy on one side. There's too many rules. Not my ruling. Ruling yeah, passed I, down I, from Harford. I have no idea what's going on half the time. I'm just, I just know that I, whoever wins this Beerus mat, I'm still, I'm, I'm beating them up and stealing it. So what it you mean the matter. mat that I get the judge mat? I, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Just somebody that leaves this building with a Beerus mat, I'm going to beat them up and take it. Whoever the weakest one is, <laughs> like, but the I'm one bigger that, than you, so the I'm one that the strays one. away from the pack. <laughs> However, I... <laughs> I'm gonna take down like a cheetah. It's fine. I'll just hang out with Peter the whole time. He's much bigger than both of us. Peter will flex on him, get some gas on. Actually, I'll hop on his back like LeFou, and I'll sing. It'll be funny. I feel like he'll just, I feel like he'll just, he'll just throw you to me, and I'll just get your mat, and then I'll high five him and we'll run away. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll be back at West Virginia for anybody knows it's gone. We'll find some poor kid in the Your dumpster flight tomorrow. tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Are we staying in the same house tonight? Like, <laughs> I, I think I'm just going back to the airport and sleeping at the airport. I think. Oh, rip! I know this is like every time I look at this matchup, all I can think about is it's literally a mirror matchup with different leaders. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I mean, it really does. It feels like it's a you know, like you know, Joaquin's deck is definitely pretty cool, and I, I like I like what he's doing. <laughs> <coughs> it's my boy. Yeah, King Vegeta surprise attack. King Vegeta surprise attack, the card everyone hates, but I love. Yeah, the card's good. The card's neat. The thing is, I think King King Vegeta surprise attack was really good when people didn't expect it, and I think it gets worse now that people do expect it, right? Especially when you play one down into your energy, right? Once you play one in your energy, you're essentially telling your opponent, "Hey, look, I have these in my deck now." So it can be really tough to get any kind of um, advantage off of it after after you've shown it in the energy, unfortunately. Yeah, it's 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 like now now it's, now the the whole surprise is gone. It's gone. So if he punches into something, he knows it's potentially there. Right. Then yeah. No, yeah. What, well, what's a, that's why it's so important in this game to to strategically play your energy because if you play your energy, you know, you play something out, you're essentially giving your opponent free information. And a lot of times it doesn't matter. It's usually cards they expect. But something like King Vegeta is is could be devastating. Like I mean, King Vegeta could could turn the match around a little bit if he uses it at the right time. And when he put, plays an energy like this, it's it's essentially telling his opponent play around me, which is uh you know can can matter. See, it's like, I see people that, that do, what is it? Like, they drop the Beerus? They, like, they put the Beerus in the energy, so now the threat of Beerus is gone. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, Because it's like, oh, 
Well, I had two cards in hand, but I know he plays Beerus now because there's one chilling in his energy area. Right, right, right. Sure. You're talking about the seven drop Beerus, the general destruction. So All right, now we're turn zero. Here we go, boys. It all comes down to this. The question is whether or not that message enter. has been sent to them, if they know they're in time. And we're sending Mr. Gaston himself to do it. <laughs> Poor dude. Did you know that no one pumps like Gaston? I actually no one rolls. I'm gonna be like honest Gaston. with you guys. I actually don't like Beauty and the Beast. All right, I think it's like um, the worst Disney movie. Thanks, guys. That's all we're gonna have for you tonight. I mean, like, really, uh, like, I'm gonna go it? ahead and throw a bag over Dusty's head and drag understand. him out to the car. There's <laughs> so many. There's so many better ones. There's like Aladdin. I can show you the one. <laughs> Perfect. Aladdin? Nailed it. Aladdin's good. That's it. That's all you got. Just Aladdin. I'm just saying, like, I mean, there's one. Yeah. What else? The Great Mouse Detective. What? That's a good one. Showing your age there, Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, it's going to be Fival. Jungle Book. <laughs> Jungle Book. Yeah, Jungle Book's good. Jungle Book. <laughs> Best <laughs> anime, Jungle Book. Can I help you? Someone actually needs to take all the old Disney movies and just turn them into anime. Like, full action anime. Because like... that's not a copyright issue. Well, eventually it's fair. Like, eventually it falls out of copyright, right? Does it, though? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Disney I mean, owns like, everything nowadays. I mean, like, but everything Disney used was actually... Recycled like, images. They, they recycled, yeah, they recycled anyway. Like, what was it? Uh, the like, one ju- They didn't the create Fox Jungle cartoon. Book. The Jungle Book and the Fox cartoon. There was a, there was a Fox what movie that I don't about? I don't remember the name of it, but like literally they have the same dancing animations. Yeah, Robin Hood, Robin Hood Fox. Oh yeah, yeah. So like it's literally just like the same reused animation, just oh, different. Yep, the Lion King. Yep. That's How do you not remember Lion King? How's that like? You go the Great Mouse Detective over Lion King, Dusty. I mean, Lion King's okay. It's better than freaking Turn One. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> This <laughs> is such a bad. Here we go. Go Tink's coming down. Here's your boy coming down. Three life. Uh, this is how you finish a game off. But Joaquin has tons of cards in hand. I just can't imagine this game ends. Question is how many cards in one, two, three, four? <laughs> well, three and three. Three life each. 20, four. 000. Here comes the awaken. No, he's already awakened, right? Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, 20,000. Uh huh. Come swinging in here. Four cards in hand, going to go up to five, untap two blue. All Tim has to do is just not lose. He will probably be going to the uh, top 16 here. Yet another Goku in top cut at that point. It's a heartbreaker for Joaquin, but... That's Bean. It's to Bean. I have to be careful with the sensu bean. And this is just when you quad sensu bean, right? You have to be careful with the sensu bean because if you buff your leader up too much, you're you know Tim's going to free discard you. That is one thing that Gotenks is really good against is sensu bean. Swinging in for the discard. Yeah, it's like, say it with me, Dusty. Swing in nope. for the discard. I will not say that. You got to do the scotchisms. You just got. Nope. I've got you to say, can I help you before? It wasn't in on on camera, so there is no proof. It's just my word against yours. But you know what? It happened, and you will never acknowledge it. Just like the time when you said I was right on stream, we have physical proof of this, but you still denied it. Nope. Yep. Tim looks like he's actually trying to just go in for the win here. Four cards in hand, trying to go in for the win. How many cards in uh, Joaquin's hand? He has, like, I think it's, like, Six? Maybe six or seven, yeah. It really just depends on the, the dynamiter of the uh, sleeve and the outer sleeve and the width of the uh, inner sleeve uh, physical. Hey, man. It's eight, nine. Hey, man. It's nine, yeah. What? After looking at the reflection <laughs> into the table, I can tell it's nine. I prevent a leading because Dusty tried to do some math and science on my brain and it didn't work so good. Let's see what happens here with Tim. As a Majin who? As a I just Majin feel like Tim is being a little, a little greedy right here. I mean... Right? Am I wrong? I just feel like... No, he's trying to... He clearly just has nothing and he wants to push. But, like, is there a reason to do this? Don't you just pass with all, like, all the bunch of cards in hand and just, like, stall the game out? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to win right here. You just need not to lose. He also might want to swing with Boo for game. I know that's a thing. Yeah? 
Only one untapped energy now, though. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's scary. I think he does have, like, at least one negate in hand. So that's, like, one attack he can stop. It's probably unlikely that Joaquin can kill him. He actually might have two in hand. He definitely has one, has a couple piccolos, so. But take it. Going down to one. Snap one. He gets the trunks off of it, though. Trunksu. Joaquin, man. Maybe he can come in, come in here. We'll see. But does turn. he want to, though? Because that's the guaranteed draw at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I understand. I'm just saying that, like, it just seems questionable. See Remember, what... guys, this is the last round before Top Cut. The next yeah. time you hear Dusty, he'll be joined by Mr. Machado. A special guest. Mr. Machado. And I will be doing judge stuff. We need to get Lester on camera one time. Absolutely. Lester needs to come on needs before come the stream ends. I demand him and his I glorious hair come on I'll, stream. I want I want him I want him praised. And cuddled. And, and immortalized. <laughs> immortalized forever. Immortalized? Why are we making immoral? It's like, I said immortal. <laughs> immortalized. Immortalized is the first word you said. I don't think so. I think so. Chat, back me up on this. Press one in the chat if you agree with me. Press two if you agree with Dusty. Or just say nothing if Scotch is wrong. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, he does have full power trunks in his hand. Well, that TN is definitely not helping him. <sighs> it's possible he gets... But the thing is, if he attacks with it, he can't... His opponent just has negate, so it's fine. I mean, he's not going to be able to win with that card. Joaquin, what do you, what's the play here, buddy? Yeah, maybe he needs to attack with Broly first, though, before he decides to do anything. Ooh, Bio Army. Question is, how many times can he kill the Bio Army? <laughs> That's true. At, le at least it's attacked twice. All right, so he can get at least three attacks off it if he has a KO. So swing in with the Bio Warrior, swing with the Broly, pop the Bio Warrior, bring it back, right. swing with the Bio Warrior, <laughs> uh, then bring out Kale. Pop the Bio Warrior, bring it back, swing with Bio Warrior again. The question is, does he have enough cards in hand to facilitate that? Right, and I think he does. Because I mean, he's going to draw one off of, off of Broly. He's going to get a card. And this is Joaquin's final turn. This is interesting, too, because if I mean, Tim just has to use Boo here if he does a combo. Tim has to go Boo. Sure, he loses one of his main dudes, but who cares? Be willing to say you take this hit. You think? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. You take the next two hits and then negate the last two hits. He only has one negate, it looks like. And then he just literally, Tim just literally has to pass. And then he wins. Here we go 15,000 and 15,000. You snap take this. Don't even bother stopping it. Snap take it. Did he just draw another bio army? I'm trying to see if he has a Kellen hand, but I can't quite make any of his cards out. I think he does. Is he opting not to pitch? I don't think so. I think he's just trying to figure out what he has to. Sensor Bean. I mean, I guess he's just not going to do the Bio Warrior. I guess he chooses not to pitch. Right. That triggers the second and hits the, the drop area. Yeah. If not, it'd be one of the few cases that you, quote-unquote, miss timing in this game. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I, th I actually think he does it. He just chooses not to use it. I think he's just going to try to go on top of this just triple striker. Yep, Mass saying coming in. I tell you what, this might get negated. I mean, he's got. It's possible this gets negated. Not even I take this. I mean, I would too, but it's possible this gets negated. Like Tim's just like, oh yeah, if I negate this, what is he gonna do to me? I take this and then save the negate. I I agree with you. I'm just saying. So what you're saying is, I'm what? I don't think you're right. It's not very nice of you. 
because I think there's a strong possibility Tim just goes, yeah, not worried about it. I'll just negate this thing. Good luck winning, nerd. And then Joaquin's going to be like, yeah. That's when he it? flips the table, right? Right. <laughs> table of glass. Not Man, I, just can't, I, can't, I just can't think. I just can't imagine how, how terrible that would have been if I just was like, I'm going to be funny. Hey, man, that <laughs> was your plan, <laughs> not my plan. Everywhere. I was like, I'm going to sit right here. And no. if you want to flip the table, I am not going to stop you. Joaquin, no. Don't play it now. Whoa. All right. Okay. His plan, well, his plan, he has a negate, so. His plan has been foiled. By a non-foil. Yeah. That, that was really clever. Tell was, me I'm pretty. Yeah. Tell me I'm pretty. I'm trying to think what he's... <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused now. I mean, I feel like... I don't really know. He's got the negate. So you're clearly going to take the... You're going to eat the Mass Saiyan attack and then negate the Trunks and then pass turn for game. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you one thing. When you're behind, you have to give your opponent as many opportunities to misplay as you can. And I think that was what he needed to do with Mass Saiyan right there. You just need to attack with Mass Saiyan. Boom. Negate. Yep. Two Whenever. cards in hand. It's a Beerus and it's 17. That 17 has been in his hand this entire game. Yeah. So you think he just snap takes this? I think you do. 100%. Why not? What do you have to lose? You're at three. How does he, how does he ready? Is there any way he can ready an energy right now? Probably not. No, he's tapped out. He's not blue, so he can't unyielding. I don't even know why you combo. You gotta know that he's just gonna eat this. Okay, here's a big old mass thing coming in. Yeah, I think he's saying, yeah, I can't get you. There it is. Man, a close uh, close little final turns right there. And that's going to be uh, a 1-1 one, one win with uh, Tim Lee. Possibility making it in the top 16. Very, uh, a very grindy and long matchup. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. grindy and yeah. long. Took all of time. All of and time. And some. And then some. Yep. Because they did have a 10-minute extension. But still, like, you just kind of got to sit there and... <sighs> Man, that's that's just one of those grind matches that you just deal with. Absolutely. It's just like the mirror. The Goku mirror is always going to be a grind. It's always going to be difficult like that. And it's not even who draws best at that point. It's who can clear the board the best way. Yeah. And the yeah, it's a typical way. grind matchup, right? You know, and usually Broly has a little bit of advantage because he'll he'll splash in a little bit of hand destruction. Yeah, just bring a little bit yeah. of hand destruction. The Gotenks was his only hand destruction, right? And, and that's we what didn't really see that, and I think off. that's probably what happened with that matchup, unfortunately. So, well, guys, I don't think we're going to spend too much more time talking about. This.